Chapter 35 Captain Moroni and Pahoran Captain Moroni was happy to hear that Helaman and his army had taken back much of the Nephite land from the Lamanites. But Helaman and his army needed help. They did not have enough soldiers to defend so many cities. Captain Moroni wrote a letter to Pahoran, the chief judge and governor. He asked Pahoran to send more soldiers to help Helaman's army. The Lamanites attacked the Nephite city that Helaman had taken back. They killed many Nephites and chased the rest from the city. Angry with the government leaders because they had not sent help, Moroni wrote another letter to Pahoran. Captain Moroni wrote that many people had been killed because Pahoran had not sent more soldiers. If Pahoran did not quickly send men and food, Moroni would take his army to Zarahemla and take what his army needed. Soon Moroni received a letter from Pahoran. He was very sad that Moroni and his armies were suffering. Pahoran told Moroni that a group of wicked Nephites called King Men did not want him to be chief judge. They had forced him and his supporters out of Zarahemla. Pahoran added that he was gathering an army to try to take back Zarahemla. The king men had chosen a king to be their leader and had joined the Lamanites. Pahoran was not angry at what Moroni had written. He wanted the Nephites to be free too. He asked Moroni to bring a few men to help him and said that if Moroni gathered more men along the way, the combined army could take back Zarahemla. Captain Moroni was happy that Pahoran was still loyal to his country and still wanted freedom for his people. With a few of his men, Moroni went to meet Pahoran. He carried the title of liberty, and thousands of men joined them along the way. The combined armies of Moroni and Pahoran marched against Zarahemla. They killed the king of the wicked Nephites and captured his men. Moroni then sent food and 12,000 soldiers to help the Nephite armies. These armies drove the Lamanites out and there was peace again in the land.